Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Engineering Mechanics Statics by R.C. Hibbler. So we have this problem from chapter two of the textbook here that uh, is asking, express the force as a Cartesian vector where we have this uh, diagram of a, a 50 pound force acting in 3D space. Uh, this problem that we have here is very similar to problem F213, which I've covered in a previous video. Um, so there may be some preliminary background here that I covered in that video. If you feel lost at any point, please, uh, I'd suggest that you look at the uh, tutorial that I made for F213. Um, let's go ahead and solve this problem here. So first we can consider... Uh, this triangle here, which has a 45 degree angle with the xy plane. So we can say here uh, the up and down is represented by the z uh, axis. And we can say that uh, left and right is represented as the xy plane. Uh, so uh, this is acting in the positive said direction, so we can say it's acting like this, uh, with this uh, angle here being 45 degrees. <clears throat> uh, using this diagram, th this becomes a deadly simple um, 2D uh, idea, where we can say that the Z component is, uh, oh, I forgot to add the magnitude, the magnitude is 50 pounds, so we can say the Z component here is 50 uh, sine 45. And we can say that the XY component is equal to uh, 50 cos 45. Okay, uh, this Z component here, uh, let's just numericize it. So this uh, takes a value of 35.4. Okay, uh, moving on then. We can consider this triangle here. So let's just draw up our axes. So we have the y, uh, the y axis here and the x axis here. So note that this uh, fxy component here uh, is acting in the negative x direction and the positive y direction. So if we were to diagrammatize this, or add it to our axes, I should say, uh, it would look something like this, the X, F, X, Y component. Uh, let's label its magnitude just as 50 cos 45 here. Uh, and we, we note this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So it's essentially saying it's going uh, 4 up, for, or for every 4 up, it goes 3 across. Okay, uh, from this diagram then, we can say our Y component takes a value of four fifths of uh, cos, uh, 50 cos 45, uh, which uh, when we bung that into our calculator, we find takes a value of 28.3. And our x component, we can say it takes a value of 3 fifths of 50 cos 45. Which again, when we bung in our calculator, gives us a value of 21.2. Okay, so we have our z component. We have our y component. We have our x component. Let's just check the signs on these components as well. Uh, so the vector is acting in the positive z direction, so that's good. The um, vector is acting in the uh, positive y direction, so this should be this should remain positive. Um, and it's acting in the negative x direction, which I should have really noticed from our, our 2D diagram here. So this really should be minus 3 fifths and minus 21.2. Okay, so we have our x, y, and z components now. Uh, the question is asking 
express the force as a Cartesian vector. So let's go ahead and do that. We can use I, J, and K notation here. We can say vector F is equal to uh, minus 21.2 I uh, plus 28.3 J uh, plus 35.4 K. And there's the solution to our problem. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.